Okay, so we talked about a big storm system yesterday with Marielle earlier. I want you to look here at your screen. Our first good look at the damage near Houston after severe weather included tornadoes, possible tornadoes moving through that area. This is in Pasadena, so that's about 20 miles outside Houston. School is closed and in nearby Deer Park today, Pasadena ISD reporting damage at at least four schools. Both cities and Baytown have city crews out checking for buildings for damage as well. And I heard you mm -hmm. mention a possible, or you think it was EF2, there was some talk about that thrown out. So they right. will actually be out there, out there right now today. Absolutely. And you know, that specific area, Pasadena, mm -hmm. Deer Park, that was where there was a tornado emergency. And that was actually a confirmed tornado. So it was actually spotted okay. yesterday. Uh, and the damage just looking from those images looks consistent from an EF2. Uh, we will see what happens when the National Weather Service actually, you know, adds a rating to this. It could be classified higher, but definitely some scary stuff considering it's January. I know I was texting my parents who live in Houston mm -hmm. and I said, hey, are you guys aware of what's going on down there? Um, and I think it even though people may be paying attention to the weather, they're still not expecting that. Absolutely. So I want to show you this. I want to show you how just why the system was because it was very different as far as impacts go across the state. Uh, keep in mind, this was yesterday. This is not active right now. We had the snow across the Panhandle, portions of West Texas, the Permian Basin. North Texas saw a mix of rain and snow, but then Southeast Texas dealing with that severe weather threat. So about 90% of tornadoes that happen in Southeast Texas near the Houston area have wind speeds of 90 miles per hour or less. That classifies them as an EF0 or an EF1. So usually very low end tornado threat. And during the cold months, you would not expect to see a strong tornado. That's why yesterday was a bit rare, uh, but at least 10 reports of tornadoes in the area, at least sites. Uh, so we'll get an official number at some point today or tomorrow kind of depends on how long it takes the National Weather Service to issue this. Again, this is not active. I'm showing you this because I want to show you uh, just how important it is to keep tornado safety in mind. A tornado emergency, the first one issued in Harris County ever uh, is for a rare tornado warning. So it's a warning and then it gets upgraded to a tornado emergency. Whenever this tornado is in going to impact human life, catastrophic damage and, and again a confirmed tornado at that likely 30 minutes on the ground for about 14 15 miles a and I want to emphasize that this is a really serious situation um, that's just something to keep in mind as we approach our own severe weather season but this happened around 2 20 in the afternoon and uh, it was just a scary sight to see I was at home and I was looking at this it caught my attention uh, via social media yesterday